The second season of The Mandalorian has landed on Disney+, Plus, and as audiences navigate through the haze of excitement surrounding a new set of space western adventures, let's take a moment to consider the important questions like, who was that one-eyed guy at the beginning, and where have I heard his voice before? It's uncool to talk business immediately. Just enjoy the entertainment. In the opening scene of Season 2's premiere, Mando and his young ward visit a shadowy underground fight arena full of colorful alien characters. There's a Twi'lek at the door, there's a Zabrak chilling ringside. A pair of Gamorreans rock and sock one another in the center of the arena. But the star of the scene is undoubtedly Gore Koresh, the cycloptic crime boss Mando goes to meet. He's a member of the Abyssin species, a race first spotted in the Mars Eisley Cantina in A New Hope, distinguished by their single eyes and ability to heal from almost any injury. That ability might come in handy. After Mando refuses to swap out his trademark Mandalorian Beskar armor for information, Gore sets his goons on our hero, only to watch his staff get taken out one by one. A brief chase ends with Gore hanging upside down from a streetlight like so many low-level Spider-Man villains before him, as ominous red eyes close him from the shadows. He's scared, he's enraged, and his voice is the guy who played the live-action Luigi. Star Wars has become infamous for its celebrity cameos in the last few years, with Daniel Craig and Jason Sudeikis making almost unrecognizable appearances as stormtroopers and Simon Pegg taking on a role as a junk-dealing, man-sized big toe. Naturally, a semi-CGI Cyclops gangster is prime real estate for a sneaky movie star appearance, and the voice of Gore Koresh was provided by none other than John Leguizamo, who you might know as Sid the Sloth from Ice Age, Tybalt in Romeo and Juliet, and most infamously Luigi Mario in 1993's live-action adaptation of Super Mario Bros. He has more than 150 acting credits on his IMDb page, rising to stardom in the early 90s thanks in large part to his role in Carlito's Way. He even landed a Golden Globe nomination for his work in Tu Wang Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Numa. Luckily, the high-profile 1993 failure of the virtually unwatchable Super Mario Bros. didn't end his career. He went on to land roles on some of the hottest TV shows of the decade, including medical drama ER and childhood staple Sesame Street, on which Leguizamo donned the costume of the iconic Captain Vegetable. Ever the restless performer, Leguizamo also took time to get back to his stage roots, starring in the 1991 off-Broadway production Mambo Mouth, the 1998 Broadway run of his own one-man show Freak, and the 2001 Broadway debut of his second autobiographical one-man show Sexaholics, a love story. If you're one of those highbrow Mandalorian aficionados, it's certainly possible you recognize Leguizamo from one of those performances. Although his recent Mandalorian appearance marks Leguizamo's debut in the ever-expanding Star Wars universe, the actor has been a mainstay of genre films and TV shows for some time. He played Clown, aka Violator, in 1997's gritty adaptation of Image Comics' transgressive Spawn series. He also portrayed the OG wish-granting genie of the lamp in 2000's Arabian Nights miniseries. Aside from lending his voice to just about every version of the prolific Ice Age animated franchise, he also voiced Jack Spratt on three episodes of Shrek spin-off Puss in Boots. The man clearly has no problem applying his talents to anthropomorphic creatures of every shape and size, so a towering space cyclops really isn't too far out of his wheelhouse. In recent years, he could be seen in the critically acclaimed miniseries Waco, for which he was nominated for a Daytime Emmy, and in the John Wick franchise. On top of that, he's also continued doing voice acting work on animated series like BoJack Horseman, where he played Mr. Buenaventura in the episode Planned Obsolescence, and Elena of Avala in the role of the Bat Di Loco. While the rest of the upcoming guest cast on The Mandalorian is being kept under wraps, it seems like a sure bet that we'll see more celebrity cameos. Be sure to check back for the latest news on the stars behind the aliens in the series star-studded second season. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Star Wars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the bell so you don't miss a single one.